My name is Wendy Blum. I've lived in Needham, Massachusetts since 1983. My husband and I raised our two children here, and I thought I knew the town really well. But when the COVID-19 shutdown happened, I found many surprises on my long walks through the new-to-me neighborhoods. It became an exploration. I love Walt Whitman's sediments in his Song of the Open Road. Afoot and light-hearted, I take to the open road. Healthy, free, the world before me, the long brown path before me leading wherever I choose. You road I enter upon and look around. I believe you are not all that is here. I believe that much unseen is also here. What is unseen is centuries of other feet walking here. The native people must have seen this swampy area. They were the Algonquin and lived in this area for over 8,000 years. By the time the Puritan settlers came, only 500 of the great tribe remained after being decimated by disease brought by earlier Europeans. Their chief was William Nahoyden. The name is familiar as a street a few blocks from my house. Nahoyden must have known this bend in the Charles, now the Charles River Peninsula Park. The early settlers were farmers, and you can still find old stone walls that must have marked off the fields. I found this pile of stones on the site of the Jeremiah Kingsbury House built in 1805. By 1865, it was surrounded by cornfields. Now it's on the driveway to North Hill. When industry came to Needham in the 1850s, there were huge knitting mills in Needham Heights. The largest was the Carter Company, which made great cotton underwear and still had its headquarters on Highland Avenue when I moved here. I even met Manson Carter, the last Carter in Needham, in his almost empty factory. On one of my treks, I found the old Nike site in Ridge Hill Reservation. It was a U.S. Army Nike Ajax missile station during the Cold War. Right here in Needham, the Army stored 30 radar-guided missiles designed to intercept a long-range bomber attack by the Soviet Union. Now Olin College uses the land to test robots, but it's fun to wander through and imagine top-secret operations going on. Also unseen but still perceived are tokens of our shared experience of this unprecedented health crisis. There are quixotic messages around the neighborhood, mostly friendly. Chalk driveway scribblings, rainbow paintings in windows, teddy bears on porches, all say hello to passers-by who can't come in not even grandparents. Some of the messages are very specific. The 2020 graduates have to celebrate in isolation, but their families make sure their neighbors know. Needham appreciates its healthcare workers. These signs are a reminder that not everyone will survive this pandemic. There's a dark undercurrent to the cheery messages, like the masquerade balls held during the plague in the Middle Ages. Some messages are not that friendly. At least there are smiley faces within this threatening message posted on a tree near a park.
This is my favorite message. Every few days, a new inspirational poem appears in the little poetry box on Parish Road. The owner's a nurse who takes it upon herself to lighten our spirits as we walk on and on. People are bike riding, scootering, jogging, and gardening is definitely a thing this spring. People are out tending amazing flower beds and vegetable gardens. Some do better at lawns than others. I wonder about the role of chemicals in producing the lawn on the left versus the lawn on the right. Another thing in style this spring is putting out plastic Adirondack chairs in your front yard. It looks very sociable. However, I've never actually seen anyone sitting and socializing in them. At least not yet. I love the colors on houses around town. Doors are making a fashion statement. As if to say, enough of this dreary shutdown and continual bad news. Here's a blast of color to brighten your day. I especially love the yellow ones. I am so inspired by the vibrant colors that I wanted to paint my own door, which was the same boring blue as the shutters. It's a message, although I'm not sure what it means. Mine is orange. I hope you smile when you drive by on Parish Road, right next to the Needham Cemetery. I hope that's not a message. <laughs>